It says you're live. Okay. Okay. We have cute flower and strict figures and platypus draws, the cute and icy and a bling and bat pig and honey bunny and Agatha's here. Says lovely morning to you all. Good morning. Randy B says good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday indeed. How are you all today? How are you all today? Um, Ray says hi. Hello, Ray. Lina says hi. Lewis says hey. Hey. Condrey says hello. Love the art. Oh, thank you. I was not <laughs> very happy with it, but I thought I'd work on it a little bit. Hi, Amara. Good morning. Yeah, we're doing, um, and by we, please don't ever think I'm picking up the paintbrush. Scott's using gouache today. Oh, oh good, Bethany's here, and Steph Nerd's here, and everybody say good morning. And, good morning, friends. Um, Serenity Sky says, looking great so far. Thank you. Okay, Amara, you asked me to say your name and say good morning, and I said your name, and she says, oh my God, you said my name. <laughs> Um, Zaro's tail says, hello, how are you guys doing? Doing okay. Thank you. Luna says, hello. Shazneen says, I love your energy and your paintings. Thank you very much. Uma's fashion says, hey, Scott, I'm a great big fan of you and watching from your first video. Oh, well, That's so thank you. Uh-oh. Uh, Nixia writes in all capital letters, I am so caffeinated. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Watch out, people. Be afraid. Uh, Dark Side says, hi, Nixie. Hi. And we have an Emma who says good afternoon. Hello, Hello Emma. Emma. Joy is here. Hi, Joy. She says, come on to the lovely mods and the lovely Sabas. How are we good today? Good morning. How do I know what to draw when practicing, says WX Gaming. Um. I, I think the best thing to do is to, pra is to practice drawing what you like. Um, that's the good thing about art is you don't have to do the things you don't like to do. Um, you find your passion, find the things that you love. Oh, um, ooh, ooh, the um, animatics says, once again, howdy and hey people. Oh, Connie says, good morning, y'all. I feel like today but watching oh. art is always great for the soul well, we hope you feel better um amara loves the highlights you're doing ray says morning scott and donna i gotta go soon but this is so relaxing oh thank you have a good morning the worst version of your dad i haven't got to catch a live stream in a while because of school but today i get off and i'm really happy oh that's great um az says bonjour bonjour hey ellen's here and says good morning friends how you doing ellen hi good ellen morning. We have a love from Greece. Dark side says, oh my God, Galadriel girl power. <laughs> um, Karomi says, hi, oh my God, that painting looks amazing. Oh, thank you. It's 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 in its ugly stage, honestly. And so I almost gave up on it. And then I woke up this morning and sometimes I just need to walk away from it. And so I was like, you know what? I think I could salvage it. And lots of times what will happen is I'll get a colored pencil and I'll just start adding more details and that usually makes me go okay there's it's possible to salvage this sometimes i just need to put a little colored pencils over it um Spiri and ron says hi i love your videos thank you yoi uri says i love your painting someone says hello um manuka says good night karomi oh my god that painting oh i read that one sorry um can you make a 3d plate i don't even know what that is um, like a dinner plate? Um, Mindy Chang says, hello, watching your videos are so therapeutic while reviewing for board exam. Huh? Oh, sh um, good luck. DTD says, your videos always make my day better. Um, what are the words on the palette? Nixie would like to know. Well, these are different colors, so I know which ones they are. <laughs> Naples yellow, flame red, spectrum red, perillion maroon. Alizarian crimson, gold ochre. So the colors that you use for um, gouache are different than the colors you use for watercolor. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a more extensive palette? 
Yeah, I do. I've, I've probably got about 20 different uh, gouache paints. And you would think that since I live with him, I would notice this, but I did not until just this second that there's more gouache than watercolor. Um, hey, Scott, what do you do when you run, when you hit a mental block, run out of ideas? Uh, it's alpha. I made a video about this, um, to, what to do with mental block, but essentially you go to the museum, you get out and you look at other people's art. That's how I get inspired is by other people's work. Um, Kay Ann says good night from Japan. Good night. A lot of people are saying your art is so good. Solace Graven says just got here. Um, Bethany says, walking away always gives better perspective. Yeah. Indeed, that and a good night's sleep. Um, what do you do when you have too many drawings and nowhere to put them? That's really uh, easy. <laughs> then you know you're an artist. Yep, indeed. Um, oh, no, you didn't. Uh, Charles Alto says, oh, no, I joined too late. No, Scott's started working on this the other day. Yeah. Trust me, he'll be noodling for a while. He's not even close to done. I, we just started today. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a day two. That's why the title was finishing this because I just, yeah. I started it and then didn't mm -hmm. finish it. Sixth Milo says, I was going to start sketching the live reel today. Oh, nice. Hey, Marguerite Mitchell says, hello from British Columbia, Canada. Good How are you doing, Marguerite? Good morning. Morning. Um, oh, Loki and Mars says, sorry, I have to go now, but love your painting so far. Thank you very much. Would you ever be up for trying the water droplet watercolor method where they have clear drops and then add color and then merge the droplets together? Um, yeah, I, I, I guess I could look into that. What's your best tip for beginners to do portraits? That's Blades fan. Get good photo reference or, or a model and either do the grid method or trace it. Mm -hmm. um, I eat soup 24 says I am a magic mushroom. I would like to know, do you wear a hat? Cause if you truly are magic, you should have a hat, preferably a top hat. I'm just throwing that out there this morning because why not? Um, Blades fan says, hello, Scott. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you? Serenity Sky would like to know how long you've been using gouache paints. Good question. Maybe about um, eight or nine years. Blow dryer. Yeah. We love the Discord. We get to see everybody's really, really cool paintings. And let me just throw this out there to all of our friends that are listening, because you're all our friends. All of the art that you guys do is amazing to me. Yeah. I have seen the most interesting takes on landscapes and animals and people and portraits. And you guys don't think you're talented. But I think you're talented. I mean, you, you've blown us away. Um, so anyway, so kudos to all of you for getting out and trying it. Um, Ellen is excited that it's cooling off and has the windows open. Bethany also has her, her back door open. I know, finally, it's cooling down here. It's 68 degrees outside where I am. So it's so much nicer. Cobblery asks, what brand of watercolors should a beginner buy? Uh, the brand of watercolors doesn't matter. You can get the cheapest ones you want. Um, it's the paper. Try to get at least the Canson XL watercolor paper, something that's 300 GSM. The um, paper is more important. Um, Rita the Freak says, hi, I'm in a bus to go on a trip to find mushrooms. I love your work and voice. It's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. 
are they mushrooms to eat or mushrooms for, I mean, I'm assuming it's mushrooms to eat. What is it? What are the most used colors in your artwork? That's Razu. Great question. Definitely purples and yellows. Um, Rushville, Albert Garcia says, you've encouraged me to make art again after years. Thank you so much with a little heart. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. I love hearing that. That's, that makes me happy. So I don't know if you guys could see, but I'm mixing pinks and reds. And just to give her a little bit more of a rosier complexion. So I'm taking the pink over here and I'm mixing it with the flame red. So you're mixing that one on the palette. Yeah, yeah. Well, gouache, I do that. Ah, a new technique we haven't heard, guys. It just makes it so much warmer. Hmm. Why do you mix it on the palette with the gouache, but you don't with the watercolor? Um, because when watercolor goes down, it's when I do it, I do it in a more graphical way, and they overlay on top of each other and create new colors, uh -huh. even when they're dry on the other. But when um, gouache goes down, it's that color. And then it'll dry down a little bit. So I just, I found that um, a technique I kind of like okay. is just kind of dabbing and dots almost. Yeah, that's what it looks like you're, you're doing with the brush. What, yeah. what size brush is this that you're using? This is a size three. Oh, it's a tiny brush. Yeah. Okay. And are we still using the etcher brushes? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm just curious. Nobody asked those questions. That was just all me. That was I, all you? You came was, up with that all by yourself? By myself. I know. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I know. I actually occasionally have a decent question. Um, AZ says, thank you for showing us your artworks. You inspired me to try watercolor, and I absolutely love it. Oh, I love oh, hearing so that. Um, <clears throat> oh, hi, I'm Donna. That's me, the wife. Um... Right now, you're using which um, gouache, sweetheart? Windsor and Newton. Windsor and Newton. Um, have you ever tried to sketch with charcoal? Mariana wants to know. Oh, yeah. We had to use charcoal three hours a day in uh, art school. We did figure drawing. Ooh. Brenda Allender, a.k.a. Creation from the Table, has a great question. Does rushing the drying process make the color duller? No, no, it just dries it off. But that's a good question. I would never yeah. thought of that. Interesting. How do you do hair textures? Oh, I've got several videos on that. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion on color theory? Um, I th think it's arch nemesis. good. Yeah, well, it's not. No, um, I mean, arch nemesis asked the question. No, that's a... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think color theory is something you should learn, but it's not something that you need to live by. It's just, a, it's just, you know, hey, these colors are pleasing with these colors and, you know, that kind of thing. But they're not rules you got to live by. Um, Scott's painting in gouache today. Um, let's see. Hello, my name is Cece, and I have to get up for high school. Hello. Oh, you're so young. Your whole life is ahead of you. That's so exciting. I know you're probably sick of people saying that, but it's true. Um, people would like to know what you think of the Lord of the Rings, the new one. I think it's so far been pretty good. Blow dryer. So I'm not happy with her eyes. Um, okay. So Richard's here. Hey, Richard. So good morning, Richard. A little bit of love to Richard. Um, here, quiet, because we're observing how good he is. <laughs> he so funny. Um, hello from Lori in Wisconsin. Remember me, the 71-year-old who started watercolor painting. I'm having so much fun with it, and I'm getting better. Oh, I love Sydney. hearing that. Flurry! We're so glad you're here. And we're so glad you're still painting. That's exciting. 
I love it. If I you love, ever love, post love your it. art online anywhere, please tag me. We want to see what you're painting. Have you tried using those paint pens that seem to be so popular lately? That Kay wants to know. Do you remember what they're called? Which paint pens? If it's the Posca pens, we haven't gotten that far yet. Um, we have to pick some of those up because I've tried to contact them and they have not contacted us, but um, yeah. Um, Frida says, I'm a big fan. I love your work. Oh, I love your work. Um, I sure don't think I'm talented. You know what? Nobody does, but I'm sure your paintings are beautiful. Um, Michael said, asks, hey, Scott, has Gravity said anything on when their product that y'all are working on together might come out? Um, we have a lot of work still to do. Like they need mm -hmm. to send me cause they're trying to match the 12 colors that I use. Yeah. And so I, I need to try it out and, and I want to make sure that it's a good product before we go and endorse yeah. it in any way. Yep. So, um, they're also promising, um, the light fastness to be what Scott likes so that it will actually stay when you, when you paint with it, it won't. Fade yeah. Soon, over you know, won't fade, and um, he wants to try. It. We're actually going to get a sample of it, and we'll try it. Um, well, he'll try it, and um, to see um, how it all works out. But it's going to be cool, guys, and it'll be. It's supposed to be around twenty bucks. Yeah. For the 20, set, twenty or twenty-five dollars, something yeah. like that, for everything in the set. And that includes paper too, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to include paper. It's supposed to include a very small. Um, uh, either sheets of paper or a sketchbook. Um, Dark Side says, hello, Scott. Thank you for doing this. I just want to say I really love and appreciate this painting, being a massive Lord of the Rings fan. In fact, I learned Elvish when I was 11. Wow. I don't even know how you learn Elvish. I mean, I'm literally so sitting here in a hobbit hole, but I think you got me beat. You learned Elvish. Yep. Yeah, they easily have. Oh, Jamie's here. She says, good morning, SBC friends. Happy Friday. Good morning. Hi, Jamie Brown. How are you? It is Friday. Thank God we all made it to Friday. That's all I can say. Um, so a few people want you to paint uh, Princess Diana and the Queen, and maybe we should say why well, we're not going to do that. Um, I just don't feel like it. A lot of times when people pass, um, it feels exploitative to paint them. So Scott kind of tries to avoid doing that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So that's I don't want to capitalize on someone's on the, passing. On the yeah. Um, Bat Pig says, I love Lord of the Rings. Um, I have so many paintings. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cresso says, I love his wife. Thank you. Well, I love you too. I'm happy to be here with you guys this morning. Um, Nate says, it's honestly so relaxing drawing along with you. It's like drawing with a friend. Oh, I love How it. How sweet is that? Oh, uh, AirPod Animation says, do the October. They want I, another I, October. <laughs> I, I was writing out ideas for the next October. Uh-oh. That paint's still wet. Don't put anything yeah. there. So I have knitting, carving pumpkins, jumping into leaves, and Halloween costume. Oh my God. So yeah. if any of you can come up with anything more, please I tell us. I got a big one. Oh. Apple picking. Apple picking. Okay. Eight legs of apple picking. <laughs> oh, that would be great. All right. Um, Apple. Says, just found your channel and have been so motivated to get to painting. Thank you so much for sharing your time and talent. Oh, my pleasure. Thank oh, you. Oh, hey, Lou is here. This is Happy Friday. I hope you have a day as wonderful as you all are. Oh, thank hey, guys, you. Guys, if you like tea, you need to go see Lula's tea shop. She's got it's NMT Foundry. She's got the best Scottish breakfast tea. I swear by that stuff. It's so good. Do you or Donna have a costume for Halloween plan? No. God, we haven't gone in costume in years. Yeah. We have costumes in the closet. Um, Do we Scott, still have of those? gave you like 40 ideas for October a couple weeks ago. What? <laughs> she says, 
Bethany says the orcs gave you like 40 ideas for October. Uh, I got to look. I got to find those. Oh, M says, what about baking cookies? Oh, see, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a great one. Baking cookies. Gosh, how could I not even think about that? Because you're bad. How about an octopus watching TV or Squidward from SpongeBob? <laughs> oh, Lula, I, honest to goodness, I'm telling you, if I didn't like the tea, <laughs> I wouldn't be telling everybody to buy it. But I love it. It's so good. So, so, so good. Jamie says, I need eight arms for baking and decorating cookies and cakes. I have uh, a lot of hocus pocus cookies to make. Oh. And Nixia says, oh, sure. Knitting, not crocheting. Hello. <laughs> It's the same thing to me. He does not know the difference. See, I can't take him anywhere. I'm telling you. Um, you guys are funny. Her actual words were, why does it got to be knitting and not crocheting? Huh? 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 <laughs> Can you tell? She said, she said, Kathy. I'm says knitting would fit so well with her. Um, I thought that would like was cute. Octo splitting mail in the mail room. You're talking. Um, it's so pretty. I do knitting too. I'm currently using a fluffy yarn to knit and it's so fluffy, says Susie. Um, I think the fiber arts just scream fall and winter to me. They just, it's just, oh. um, unalive says, hiya, how's your Friday? So far, so good. Um, and James doesn't think you should try the Posco pens. James, I'm curious as to why not. Um, Rima says, I love your content. Your art is amazing. Thank you so much. Press space. I was curious on what brushes you were using. So I went to your website, opened the link, and I don't know if it's just for me, but it says that this item is currently unavailable. Part of two of message soon. Okay. Was that uh, on the, the travel brushes? I don't know. Could be. Um... I'm still looking for the second message. I haven't seen it yet. Um, who is that woman? That is Disa. She is, uh, is it glowing? Durin. Durin's, yeah, Durin's uh, wife mm -hmm. in the new Rings of Power. I love your drawing style because your colors are so vibrant and other artists' colors are like faded. I like your style. That's oh, loyalty th line. Thank you. I, I do like happy, pretty colors if I can. Yeah. But it is... I feel like it's it, this is still a little messy. Let me dry it. Blow dryer. See, I like gouache. It's fun to kind of do these like little things. And this is, oh my God. You, you just, you spend a little bit of time just kind of getting the, the, the right shades and the right this and the right that. But on the other hand, I go, I would have had this painting done already three times if this was watercolor and ink. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, good that you're pushing yourself and trying to be new. It is, it, it is, it is um, frustrating. frustrating to know that you could have it done. And um, yeah. Okay. Um, SNS says, hi, how are you? It's nice to meet um, from Exquisite Art. Your October octopus reminds me of the octopus from Hotel Transylvania. Oh, cute. Guy from Norway asks if you've ever drawn anime. Yes. Oh, Daisy says for October, Wear a scarf and Uggs on all the legs. Oh my God, that's <laughs> hysterical. That's funny. Um, my art teacher's Halloween costume is Jackson Pollock. Just work on cover, just work coveralls covered in paint. Oh gosh. How about the octopus visiting a deer farm? Nice. Um, let's see, octopus snuggles. You guys are funny. You could do a really cute October with Splatoon, they have really cute octopus people and a DJ. Um, since it's spooky time, Scott, um, coming up, you genuinely freaked out or afraid of anything? Um, travel. Yeah. Surprisingly, the things that things <laughs> scare will be... most people don't scare Scott. <laughs> yeah, other people, you know. Um, let's see. 
I am very passionate about the tea, Emma. Emma knows me. Um, this is my first stream, and Scott encourages me to make myself happier with while painting after seven years of serious bullying. I'm in a new place now, and Scott's work just makes me so much happier. That's oh, I love Alyssa that. Partington. I am so glad. Oh, press space. The second thing is I wanted to ask if you could make a shorts video about everything we wanted to know about brushes. Yeah, well, I don't know everything about brushes, but I could just tell you everything I know and my experiences. But everybody's got a different. Everybody likes different things. Yeah, but I was going to do a video on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do Hocus Pocus. Scott is drawing Hocus Pocus several times. Would you draw an octopus that is pretty much the identity of Doc Hawk? It'll be pretty funny. That's <laughs> cute. Oh, Battlebrook says, good morning, Scott and Donald. My dad is doing better and came home from the hospital yesterday. Ugh. Oh, that's great. That's so good to hear. Oh, my gosh. Crocheting is like knitting, but the yarn um, is being knitted vertically. Does that help you? Susie's telling me that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to change my <laughs> life with that information. Blow dryer. I'm doing okay. I'm not really loving this piece, and I'm, I'm trying to save it, but... Um, what is your favorite Netflix show right now? Um, I thought I just watched the series. I mean... I don't know what you watched. Yeah, I don't know. I watched the same thing. Yeah. Um, what do your children think? of your YouTube career. Uh, they prefer us not to talk about them and <laughs> shake their heads on a daily basis that we have over a million people. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of funny. They thought I was um, stupid for trying it. And then now they're like, oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Um, Bethany says, honestly, I don't think Scott will like the Posca pens. It might be interesting to try them, but I don't see him using them with any regularity. I don't either. Um, Honestly, yes, they want to know about the travel brushes specifically. The travel brushes were the ones that were not available. Okay. Um, I'll just check. Maybe the link's bad. Yeah. Bethany, can you check on that link real quick? Um, <laughs> yeah, funny. Um, the session is good for the soul. Thanks, Donna and Scott. No, Karina, you're sweet. So, I, you know, especially with gouache, so with, with watercolor, I've worked out a technique and I know how to make it work. And that's a good thing. That's like my go-to thing. But with gouache, it is so hit and miss. Um, I just, that's, that's my entire corner of shame is gouache paintings. Okay, Stefner says, the travel brushes are sold out. That's the problem. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, she looked and the travel brushes are sold out. So sorry about that, guys. They'll get them back in. Please tell me about the tiny paper you use with the frame and envelope for giveaways. That's Adi. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on a second. We will show you what it looks like. What about an octopus on the beach? I love that idea. They're made by Strathmore, and it comes with, I think, 10 sheets mm -hmm. of watercolor paper, mm -hmm. and then you have to buy the frames and cards separately, and for some reason, they only come with six cards and sheets. It's kind of like, like hot, hot dogs, dogs and, and hot, hot dog yeah, buns. Yeah, hot dog buns, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's looking so good, says Aggressive Vixen. What are your favorite color schemes and themes? And would you do a piece for your favorite season? And which season is your favorite? It would be autumn. And my favorite color schemes mm -hmm. are probably uh, yellow and purple. Blow dryer.
All right, so here's where I start to go. Guy from Norway, that's why he screams blow dryer, so you can take your AirPods out of your ears. Go ahead. Here's where, here's where I'm going to, I'm not happy with the piece. So I'm going to get out the colored pencils and see if I could find some shapes and play around a little bit. If you ever have to only use three specific colors, not the primary ones, but specific ones like burnt sienna, which ones would you use and why? Um, if I'm just down to three colors, it would probably be black, white, and I don't know, maybe an orange or something like that. Carnage wants to know if your merchandise can be delivered to India because all of the art stores here don't have anything. We are working on that. That is what we are working on. We want to make sure we can get these into the hands of everybody who wants them. That's what we're trying to do. Um, and the company that we're working with is Gravity. We don't make our own supplies. Yeah, we're, we're not going to profit in any way from this. We're just we're asking not. them to... There's no affiliate link or anything else. We asked them to make this because you guys have asked for basic supplies and yeah. initial supply thing. And they said, let's work together and make a basic kit. And we were like, okay. But the, the problem is it's going to take time to get it to the level that Scott wants it to be. And they have to have it be realistic for the price point. So we're still working on that, but it's coming along very well. Um, what video games do you play in your free time? Overwatch, and I used to play Zelda, but I played it so much that I'm just waiting for the new one to come out. Do your stickers and other productions ship around the world? I they ship crowd made ships. Everywhere, I don't. Don't, I don't. I'm not sure. Um, you'd, you'd have to check. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know the answer. Um, hey, can one of you mods check to see if the crowd made stuff ships worldwide? Will you make Marvel well, characters mm. as well sometimes? Oh, I have. I mean, I was the artist on Spider-Man. I love Marvel. Okay, so Bethany says the link works. And then Stefner says it doesn't. So what I'm wondering is if the travel no, are not... No, Stefner said it's sold out. Oh, it's sold out. Yeah, the but, link works. It's just sold out. Okay. But Bethany says it shows us in stock for her. And I'm just wondering if It it's... might be a regional thing. Yeah, it might be. Um, Scott, what is your favorite color? Uh, Payne's Gray. Do you know the show Owl House? I have heard of it, and I, st I started to watch the first episode. I got about 30 seconds in, and then uh, Donna said something, and then I never finished it. Oh, it ships worldwide, so it's different. Okay, so it's got to be a regional thing. So... Um, Charles Alto says, how can I show you my October and Disa sketch? Uh, I would love it if you do. Um, if you posting it anywhere online, just tag me or you can post it on the discord. Okay. So all of our merchandise on CrowdMate does ship worldwide. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Stephen just messaged me. It does ship worldwide. As you can see, this takes um, effort from everybody. So all of our mods, I'm gonna just shout out to them real quick, how awesome they are that they're constantly on top of all of this stuff um, and helping me do this because I could never do this without them. So um, there would be no way. Um, what's your favorite animated movie? Uh, either Despicable Me Too or Into the Spider-Verse. Um, or yes, Little Mermaid. He did animate a movie. Which movies did you actually animate, honey? Um, I was the animator on the Casper movies. And um, I did not animate Animal Crackers. I wrote and directed it. Um, the price point we're looking for for the kit is between $20 and $25. Um, oh wow, Raven Call wants to know. It says, Hi Scott and Donna, that looks amazing already. I love your videos, they are so fun to watch. Besides the famous Hobbit Bowl, what is your second favorite place to make art? Good question. That is a good question. Mm -hmm. It deserves a good answer, which I don't know if I have. Um, yeah. Sorry, I had to go find a 
colored pencil. What um, colored pencil did you have to find? Now we need to know. It is, uh, I don't know, Verl, I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, Celadon Green. Okay. That sounds elvish. Uh, but yeah, I, I my favorite other place is out traveling, usually a hotel room. Would you prefer to draw in an area with a lot of background noise, or would you prefer to work quietly? Quiet. Maybe you should try Moon Knight as the right path. Oh, I did. Uh, Moon Knight was pretty good. Bowie says, Scott, I have so many ideas for October. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> you are not late to the stream. Scott is still noodling, believe me. Um, why is Payne's Gray your favorite? It's just such a pretty color. It's like a blue and a gray, and it's just, it goes down really nicely. I really like it. Hey, Fox TV has joined us. How hey. you doing? Um, James says, the Posca pens are horrible and expensive. They dry quickly and scratch almost every type of paper. <laughs> okay, then. Why do people like them so much? Um, a lot of people really like them. Um, Satori says, I like turtles. That's very cool. Turtles are cool. I like turtles too. The light moving on the hair makes it look cool, says so Steph Nerd. Yeah. Jamie Brown, Scott, the answer is animal crackers. You love animal crackers. Um, press space. I got a complete 300 page drawing and painting book from my library this week. It teaches everything and it, it's pretty much your channel, but in a book. I can't wait to explore it. Oh, that's press wonderful. Space. That's exciting. You have to share what book it is, please, so other people can have the opportunity to try that too. Um, uh, Hannah says, I just finished a piece. I didn't like it all that much. I spent four hours on it, but I still don't like it. What do you do when a piece you worked hard on doesn't look like what you wanted it to? We move on to the next one. It's just a part of, part of making art. I mean, I'm not enjoying this one. I, I don't wanna say I'm not enjoying it. it it's always more fun when the piece starts working and, and, it, and it's, you're like, wow, this is coming out really good. So that's always more fun, but you're still just making art and that's not a bad, bad thing. So you're going to have ones that just don't click. You got to move on. Don't waste too much time on them. If they're not working, a lot of artists will, um, get so into it that they're like, I've got to keep doing this until, and then they don't make any other art because this one didn't work. I've got so many that I've thrown away or that go into the corner of shame. It's just, it's just, a you know, it's like, imagine a baseball player mad because he, he didn't get a home run every time. You know, it's, it's silly. We're human. Not every piece is going to work out. So Nate says, oh, that's interesting. Thanks for answering. I use a digital medium, so I don't have that experience. People who can paint traditional art are so awesome to me. People who can paint digitally are awesome I to me. I was just going to say. <laughs> um, do you prefer to draw girls or boys? Um, I think boys are easier, but I like painting girls. And Nixie says, it always amazes me how he makes the fabric go from flat to flowing. I know, right? Every time. Oh, Have look you at ever these colors. Embroidery? Um, not for me, no. I mean, there'll be times where I just pause and go, I consider embroidery, but not for me to do it, just to acknowledge that it exists. Um, let's see. Drawing. Oh, the drawing's in too much light, they can't see the details. It's kind of blowing out a little bit. Okay. Um, can you pull it towards you a little bit more? No. Nope. Then I can't see it. Yeah. Pull it towards you a little bit more. Yeah. Is that okay? Can you guys see it okay? I can see it better. It was blown out on the top right hand side a little bit. So I'm just, I didn't like where the gouache was going. And so I'm just Sarah kind of going that's over better. it. A little bit with uh, some colored pencils. Yeah, just make sure you keep it down out of that light. There, everybody's saying, yeah, that's better now. Um, your thoughts on Lord of the Rings Ring of Power flopping? 
Uh, flopping, I, I think flopping it's I it yeah, good. it's doing really good. Um, it's it's you know probably Amazon's biggest thing. Um, but yeah, we're really excited about it. Where's Santa? Is he not here yet? I don't know. I haven't seen Santa. He's getting very busy. It, it's it's almost around that time. Mm -hmm. Um, how was your day? Well, our day is just starting, but so far so good. Knock on some wood. <laughs> Can you do a short of everything you want us to know about painting backgrounds? Oh gosh, um, I could try. I'm not really much of a background painter. I usually just have just colors in the backgrounds, but yeah. I could try. You do really well with on the stencils. You pick out beautiful stencils to go with these too. Um, when you were traveling, what was your favorite place? Um, I would say maybe the Louvre it was really cool. Scott, did any one of your art critics judge you for not being good enough? Because I feel that being an artist is a tough job to be professional. Um, I think the harshest criticism I've ever had was uh, when I did when I did Spider Man. Oh boy, that was bad. Yeah, that was the harshest, and I yeah. completely respected it because it was 3D. It didn't look as good as you know other people's stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And so I just, but I thank them for taking the time to look at my my art and read the book and. Um, and that, that went a long way for those people to understand that I was just a fan getting a chance to work on my dream job. So I, I thought it was good. I, I think it's good to um, let people know that there's a human being behind the art, you know, um, and there always is. And I think uh, there's so much stuff that people will say online that they would never say to your face and once once they see that you're there and you're engaging with them kindly and they're not pulled back on the defensive they almost every single time will soften their tone a little bit mm -hmm. meanwhile i want to go out and say how dare you say that about my husband you did a great job everything's good <clears throat> but that's just me being me <clears throat> so there you go when you use watercolor during travel with no blow dryer, do you just wait for the paper to dry before working on it again? No shortcuts. Yes. Yeah, you just tend to you tend to work on other parts while you're waiting. Dina's pet turtle was roaming the road today. I hope you rescued the turtle. I hate hearing that animals are just roaming. Um, animals roam. Yeah. Oh, Tesora is going to have a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday early. So now I'm just adding a little bit of flair, a little bit of texture to her. Nate says, oh, one last thing before I start painting myself. I recently joined SBC after convincing myself for several months, and I couldn't find a more supportive community. Thanks for creating. Oh, I love it. Well, all of that has to go to the mods who have been yeah. really, really handling yeah. it because I have had no time to even yeah. spend more than maybe half an hour a day on there. Yeah. Okay, Ellen says, how many sketchbooks is Scott taking to Italy and what's a reasonable amount for a one week? Oh, I'm just taking one. I'm taking just this okay. one. Um, can you guys see it? So this is, I started this last year mm -hmm. and we, uh, we were on our trip back home. There you can see the whole thing. So thank you for saying, yeah, you can see it when you couldn't. No, I um, couldn't see the one page. You weren't, you didn't have anything on the back of the Paul Rubens page. But yeah, yeah. So this is, this is it. I, and mm -hmm. this one will go. How many pages do you have left in the book? Is it good? I think about 14. Okay. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12, 13. Well, 13 pages because this one's got stuff on the back of it. And so for eight days, I think we'll be okay. How do you deal with critics? And by the way, Donna, what is your favorite painting that Scott has done? Um, do you have my favorite painting there? This is Donna's favorite painting. Yeah. That's actually a, a card of it. It's actually like two feet by three feet. It's a huge painting. And how do we deal with critics? Mm -hmm. um, I get mad. I thank them for yeah. their time. Mm -hmm. Oh, the book is sadly in Norwegian since I live here, but for those that don't mind it being in Norwegian, it's called Tenge Male. Um, okay. Stefner, I love the question being focused on Scott, but I also wonder if Donna is just taking one or several journals. Um, okay, so I am taking, um, I, I'm doing something new this time with my travel journal. I'm actually got a traveler's notebook and I have a couple of inserts that have, I think 20 or 30 pages in them and I'm taking two of them, but I write in mine and I paste things in mine, um, but they're very skinny. Um, now don't ask me how many pens I'm bringing. <laughs> I'm bringing because She's bringing so many pens. It's ridiculous. I, I have a huge um, stack of <laughs> I've taken over the whole dining room table with pens. So there you go. And washi tape. And lots of other things. Um, yeah. Oh, Sarah Wilson. I want to see the baby, a.k.a. Arwen. Oh, boy. I wish uh, the we're we're trying a new thing with the yeah. computer hooked up. We're to hardwired the thing. into the computer, so we can't really do that today. Um, yeah, it's just a new it's a new way we're doing it. So I'm sorry. Um, who's your favorite Ring of Power character? Good question. Um, I think it's Disa. Can you tell me the outline pen that doesn't mix with water? That is a zebra brush pen. Your inspiration for art? Uh, probably my mom and Spider Man. Ellen says, if you run out, it's not like Italy doesn't have paper. That's correct. As a matter of fact, we have uh, marked several uh, stores that sell art supplies and journaling supplies. <laughs> oh. Mary says, do you have any tips for young artists? I feel like I'm not improving. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. You will improve. Um, just don't, don't get caught up on um, where you are. It's, it's easier for you to look back on your art from a year ago or more, and then you'll see the improvements. But I never see the improvements either. It's, it's no artist really can. It's kind of like watching yourself grow up. You know, you can't, you're, you're not going to notice the difference, but when you look back at older photos, you're like, wow, I, I don't remember being this short. Stefner still can't get over how you make metal look like metal. And she's seeing this and still wondering how you're doing that, how you're making it look like metal. Well, it's not that metally. I mean, if I added some like really, really, white highlights or something like that some little pops of white it'll definitely make it more um metal. Likes pencil sketches he's done tons of pencil sketches um okay i'm gonna butcher this name but it's t tom mikaji is it wrong that i enjoy it when my art failed as much as when it's my favorite and i think that's a fantastic question and i would say you go because that's awesome that you love it yeah that's a great attitude yeah. to have. It's, it's, you know, messing up, trying something different mm -hmm. is part of the experience. That's how you come up with new styles and new techniques. And oh. Chris says it's cold where I live here in Wisconsin. It's 55 degrees and we don't have our winter clothes. Oh. Oh. Yes, we usually do lives Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um. Wait, today's Friday. Yeah, but um, next week we will only be here Monday and Wednesday. What do you prefer between graphite or charcoal pencils? 
Uh, I think graphite. They want to see, you know, what color pencils you're using and show us your pencil sharpener. It sounds very techy. <laughs> I think I have it on the thing. Um, can you guys see it? Yes, I can see it. So it's, um, this one could use a sharp. It works really good. And I'm using Prismacolor pencils. So, I, you know, I, I was wanting to do this as a gouache painting, but I just wasn't happy with, with it. It just felt a little flat. So I like the little crisscross and the little texture that um, Prismacolor gives me on top of the colored pencils or on top of the, the gouache. SMS family says travel journal is the best place to keep up your memories. You know what it really is. Um, Twisty Twine says, hi, Scott. I really like it how you never leave out wrinkles and skin folds when drawing faces. It's inspired me to draw even more human imperfections instead of going for perfect attractiveness. Thank you. You know, I, I will say for most of my life, I didn't add those because my mom was a fashion illustrator and she taught me not to do that. It makes women look ugly or old or whatever. But um, this is probably something that is fairly recent for me, like maybe the last two years that I started to say, you know what? I want my, my people to look more real. Um, and I like it. Yeah. How many sketchbooks have you completed until now? So many. Yeah, I would say maybe 30. Um, Agatha says, thanks for the live. Just got out of a job interview for a job I don't really want to take. Oh. Guys, your energy is spreading. Thank you so much. Oh, well, I hope you find one you do want to take. Yeah, sometimes you got to just do it to pay the bills. Um, Scott will complete the travel journal. Um, letter Lady Z, Donna, what journaling supplies do you take on a trip? Okay, so I'm going to be taking a blank journal. Actually, I have two of them. One is craft paper and one is white paper. Um, I have way too many pens. Um, I don't use pencil, but I'm thinking of bringing some colored pencils. Um, tape runners to take things into my journal. Um, washi tape to take things into my journal. Oh, and I have these great metallic pens that I'm taking also, and a glue stick, and a pair of scissors. Boy, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? It is a lot. Yeah, I know. But it all fits in that little pencil case. Does that count? If it all packs up really small, does that count? Mm -hmm. I'm in architecture, so being critiqued is a basis. So yeah. Me. Um, Haley said, dude, that looks so good. Maria, you Thank are my you. favorite realism slash cartoon artist. Thank you. Strict figures is really upset right now, but your stream is chilling me out. Thanks, Scott Donnett. Oh, anytime. Um, press Bay says, I don't know why, but I'm just feeling like telling that right now I'm working on homework in my religion class. It's a standard class in Norway where you learn about the world religions. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love that. I took a world religions class in college. It was very interesting. Um, can you tell me... What's the, um, talk about the white outline pen that you use. Oh, that's the Uniball Signo. Bethany, I cannot judge the amount of pens Don is taking because my art supply bag just keeps growing and growing. Yes. Stefan says, I travel with a traveler's journal and has three inserts, my Bujo and at least one sketchbook, so I'm not judging anyone. <laughs> See, I don't have that much compared to everybody else. Yeah. You if everybody else that. jumped off a bridge, would you? Hey. If it's a bridge that has pens underneath it flowing like a river, yes, I would jump. <laughs> when you trace an, a subject, is it off the computer screen or do you print a copy on a printer? Off the computer screen, I have a projector. Mm -hmm. That's like a little TV projector. Um, Sarah says, um, drawing imperfections is super fun. It is. Um, Ray just says, just wanted to say you seem like a really wholesome dude and thanks for the great art. Well, thank you very much. Um, Gilsha says, hi, Scott. I am from India. Hello. Good question from Razu. How do you know that you finished your artwork? Um, I usually try to time myself. So, like, 
you know, if I hopefully can get it done in an hour and a half, you know, because I say I should be able to do this in an hour and a half kind of thing. But um, the other thing is, I think it's just when you when you can't think of anything more to add to it, which for a lot of people that never happens. They just keep going, oh, I could fix this. And, and again, that's why I made the video about perfectionism. There's there's no such thing as perfect. And, and I think the more that artists learn to let their work be imperfect and just go, well, this is where I'm at. This is, I'm, I'm happy right here. Um, should I get the zebra brush pens? That's octopus. If you want to do inking, I think they're one of the best. Salty scoundrel. I envy people who can draw with colored pencils. I can't tell if it's me or they're just cheap brands. Well, Prismacolors are very expensive. And, and I've got a lot of experience with them. So keep that in mind. But uh, the Ardex yeah, ones experience. were not bad. Mm -hmm. That was a um, 72 Artex color pencils for 29 months. It was, it was, yeah, it wasn't much. Yeah, yeah it wasn't a bad thing for 72 color pencils. Um, yeah, so that was a good deal. Um, Flory Garcia says, thanks to your videos, I have been inspired to draw and become a better artist. Thanks to your videos, I've been motivated to draw. Thanks. And thank you. I love that. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Coffee Lover says, hey, Scott, I was wondering which background you prefer more, realistic, dreamy-like, or cartoony, and do you have any tips? Well, it depends on the mood I'm trying to, to give. I mean, I like more dreamlike, just abstract. Um, though sometimes I like a decorative background. Um, but if you're doing something that is a, um, like a realistic person in a realistic environment, sometimes you have to do, um, a more realistic background. It depends on, is the background important to the story that you're trying to tell? You're a storyteller. So if the background isn't important, if it's not essential, then have it be abstract, have it be because um, you're the storyteller and you need to tell the person viewing or looking at your art what's important. And so that's why, you know, like you'll see in movies, you'll see that the background is is not in focus. And that's a way for the for the director to say, this isn't important. You don't need to be looking at the background. I want you focused on this person. Um, X Shroomy X. Says hello, good morning, good night, and good afternoon to all. Welcome to oh, Good morning. Uh, Rui says your style is so cool. James Thank Riley you. says I'm painting Wanda Maximoff with the Gravity 50 set, and I love it. You should try painting her if you can. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, we have not tried poster colors yet. Um, hello from Estonia. Um, thoughts on acrylics? Uh, not a fan. Um, holy wow, you just added all the brown to the right of the hair. It was so amazing. I never can get myself to do something so bold like that in my drawings. Oh, <laughs> it's just a little bit of uh, highlight. Okay, we have Chris wants to know where we find the zebra brush pens. Um, you can get them on Blick or you can get them on Amazon or you can get them on uh, jetpens.com. There's a link in our art supply list. Um, I think we need sharpener time like blow dryer time. That's yeah. Um, do you prefer watercolors or gouache? Watercolors, I think. And how are you today? I'm doing okay. How are you? Um, the white pen that Scott uses to highlight is um, is he, Uniball, is Uniball Signal. signal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Adriana, Scott has a video on art block. Coming from a crappy time in my life, I've, you've been slowly inspiring me to draw again, and I didn't even notice till I realized I started doodling on my homework. Oh. <laughs> That's Jasmine. That's great. Our son does that. What is your least favorite medium to work with? Probably acrylic. Oh, Dust Black says, thanks to all the mods that work so hard to keep up with the ongoing chat. Indeed. Is there washi tape under the bridge because her life is in danger? Uh, yes. 
It depends how tall the bridge is and how deep the water is. You guys are funny. Um, I travel very light on art supplies now since I got my iPad. Oh, well, that's, an, that's neat. Um, I've always packed too much and traveled too heavy. I just always have. I've gotten so much better with my clothes, but I still can't, my personal items, oh my God. I used to bring like three or four books and yeah, she's like, I'm going to read this book and this, and she never yeah, does. And then I don't. Yeah, I just don't. One book. I can bring one book. Um, yeah, kind of crazy. Something actually valuable I learned in college, perfect versus done. There was a pottery class experimentation about this. Those who made multiple attempts turned out better pottery than one perfect one. Yeah. That's why, that's why I would say is, is I'd rather you'd make 50 pieces 50 smaller pieces than one big one. And I, and I, and I, I don't know what the fascination is with, with a lot of young artists where they want to do this huge, big, you know, painting that is going to be, I guess, um, their magnum opus, <laughs> you know? And it's like, just make art, just make art. Donna, this will be a great way to see which pens you use and don't use and then remove the rest for your next trip whenever that is. That's true. Um, Scott, what gave you the motivation to draw? Um, I think just uh, I was around artists. My mom was an artist. My uncle was an artist. So it just mm -hmm. became something that yeah. was there, you know? Do you know any artists from Bangladesh? I don't think so. We do have um, art hack uh, videos on making faces, right? Different components of faces. Someone's asking for that. Yeah, there's noses and, mm -hmm. and this and that. and. Thoughts on markers. I think they're great. Like if I had some right now, I'd be using them to blend. I like to blend well, my... Yeah, yeah, I just don't want to ruin them. Okay. Can you recommend what colored pens I should use? Says real ninja. Color uh, pens for what? Um, can we? Can you give us a little more detail on what you need? You inspire me to do realism right now. I normally don't do it. That's to Sarah. Oh, well, good. Do you know of any heavyweight mechanical pencils? Love the vibe of this video, by the way. That's sharp truth. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't really use mechanical pencils that much. What age did you start art? Um, I started drawing probably around six or seven, but I didn't really take it seriously until high school. High school. Yeah. Um, by the way, asking how you do highlights, I either make them too light or too dark. Yeah, well, I'm doing the same. That's why I keep going over them again. In case you, you haven't noticed these noodles. Yeah, you, you go, no, it's too light. Nope, it's too dark. Nope, it's too light. Nope, it's too dark. What do you recommend for new artists? Uh, drawing. Just get good at drawing. Don't worry about painting. Don't worry about, you know, making the perfect thing. Just draw, doodle. The right passes. Oh my God, I just finished my Umbrella Academy sketch. It turned out good, I think. Oh, fantastic. Are you going to take participate in Huevember? Huevember? Never I even heard of that. That is, yeah. Until then, give us a little more um, info on that. We've never heard of that. How did you use the Christmas color pencils when you made the little aerial painting? Um, the I didn't use any color pencils, did I? No, that was. Was that gouache? What was that? I think it was watercolor and gouache. There's color. There's Prismacolor pencil drawings. Yeah, there's some Prismas on here. Can you make art using pencil shades? There's a video Scott reviewed the Artex pencils, and he did an entire drawing with pencils. He also did an entire drawing with crayons. 
From one to ten, how much do you like the Lord the Rings of Power show? Um, seven. Hue-vember is a drawing challenge that's in November. Every day you have to different use a different hue and prompt. Oh. Hmm. Um, when will October day three come out? Well, I was going to work on that today, but I really couldn't come up with anything in time. So I think I will uh, maybe on Monday do another one. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you like your piece right now? The piece you're working on. Well, it started off at a four, but now I think I'm maybe up to a six or seven. Oh, you should do an October carving a pumpkin. Yes, I think I have that. I really feel like I should color my sketch, but I'm not good at coloring in things. Do you think I should do it? That's the right path. Um, only if you want to. Just remember, it, it's you got to look at um, trying different stuff like listening to new music. There's no harm if you don't like it. There's no harm if you want to, you know, try listening to new music for a month and see if you wind up liking it. So it, it's, I think people are afraid and I don't know what they're afraid of. There are no consequences to using color and not liking it or failing at it and seeing, well, I, I, I didn't like the first, act. who's going to, First time doing something, who's going to be good at everything very first time? Oh, me. So Hello. keep that in mind. I'm being smart. Uh, I think we all knew that. No, just so in case people who don't know me. Um, question for Bethany and Donna, do you use the Kindle app? Because I tend to buy like three books there before I travel. Okay, so yes, I use the Kindle app, but my new favorite thing to do is Scribd. Um, it's a monthly subscription and they have about... 3 million books on Scribd and you pay, I think it's $11.99 a month. Um, I don't do subscriptions ever. I don't like them. Um, we do a music thing with, I think Spotify we're doing, but um, I don't typically do that, but this gives me so many books at my fingertips that that's why I do it. And I've also shared it with one of my boys. So I do use that and I have, at any given time, I have about 15 books on <laughs> Scribd. So I always have a book with me. Um, Splat Boba, we do have commissions not available right now. So Scott does do commissions. Um, we had to turn them off um, until he's back from his trip. There's just, um, we had to sort of. We don't want people waiting. Yeah, we had to sort of like put a cap on that so no one was sitting around waiting for him to do stuff. Um, fun fact, a kid in my school tried to chug a liter of acrylic paint. Oh. Why? Why? Okay, I don't know why you guys think eating paint is a good idea, but... Wait, why do you say you guys? Because there's more than one comment. Have you ever tried to eat gouache, or have you ever heard of people eating gouache? <laughs> guys, they're art supplies. They're not for eating. There's plenty of snacks in the kitchen, you know? I mean, you don't need to eat paint. I'm just throwing that out there. And first of all, it also sounds disgusting to eat paint, but that's just me. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on digital art, honey? It's... A lot more difficult than I would have thought. Also, uh, you have a lot of videos on the different parts of the face, but they would like you to do one on putting all of those things together into a face. All right. Um, I know you said it before, but I don't know what video has it. What paper do you usually use for your watercolor and gouache? For uh, I use hot press for gouache. That's what this is. It's very smooth. And then I use a uh, cold press for watercolors. It's very textured. Do you have any advice on learning color theory? No. I mean, I, I think I took color theory my first semester of art school and that was in okay, 1987. Pull it a little closer to you again. You keep pushing it back. No, closer to you. Pull it down. There. No, go. There. Left. Right, but down a little bit. Just a smidge. There you go. It just takes the shine off of that top part. Thank you. Um, why don't you sell your extremely beautiful art? We do. We have it on the website. No one wants to buy it, though. Oh, look. The spammers found us again. Can we use any color brush for painting? 
Any color brush. That's what they asked. Any color Maybe brush. Maybe they meant any kind of brush. Different brushes are made for different kind of paintings, but I mean, there's no law or anything that says you can't try one thing for another. Some Ooh. just might work a little better. Tesora asks, do you do the face first or the hair first? Good question. Totally up to my mood. Yeah, he's really, he really does a lot by mood and I wouldn't ever call him like an emotional kind of person, but when it comes to his painting, it is all mood. Like, I don't feel like painting this today. I want to do that. I don't want to do this today. I feel like doing that. It's very much how he feels that day. Yep. Um, me, I'm all mood, all emotion, all the time. Just throwing that out there. Um, how often do you create art, Elizabeth would like to know? Uh, I try to do it every day. Mm -hmm. SLS Creations is drawing you. Oh, I'm doing art Thank you. work right now. Yay, that's more art. What art supplies are you using? Uh, right now I am using gouache. So this is gouache and colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Blow dryer. This part's still really wet. You put a lot of water on that, I noticed. Yeah. Um, have, can you or have you ever done a video on cleaning our supplies? No, <laughs> I didn't. He doesn't clean ever, guys. Ever. <coughs> he doesn't clean his palettes. He barely cleans his brushes. And by cleaning brushes, I mean literally dip them in water and wipe them on a paper towel. Um, do you have any really cheap or low quality art supplies that create an effect you can't replicate with more expensive supplies? That's DW. And that is a great question. Hmm. Well, my colored pencils are expensive. The gouache is expensive. The watercolor is expensive. expensive. My brushes. I like cheap oh. brushes. You, yeah, he's a cheap brush kind of guy. Yeah. Also, you know what? You like the Canson XL paper, and that's not an expensive, expensive paper. Yeah, but I prefer the, the nicer stuff. But you Blow dryer. <laughs> yeah. That? It was the bank. I was like, is the bank calling me? Is something wrong with my account? No, they just, this is just a care call. Okay, I don't need to talk to you right now. I'll call you back. Um, a care call. Um, what is your favorite art supply Jasmine would like to know? Um, I think probably this pencil. Um, Santa is not here. Santa's really busy this time of year. He's going into his busy season. So, all right. So I think I am pretty do you much done on road trips. Yes, I love to do that. Mm -hmm. He does indeed. I can attest to that. Scott blow dryer. Meanwhile, headphone users. That's why he screams blow dryer, guys. <laughs> what was your dream job as a child? Be the artist on Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Uh, am I going to make a hat for this one? No, I feel like that would be disrespectful. <laughs> Plus, I don't have a post-it that big. What is your favorite thing to draw, honey? Hair. If we stick to only one type of art, is it good, or should we try different art over time? Uh, no, no, no. Um, you can do whatever you want to. Oops, sorry. 
and uh, trying different stuff is for when you're bored or just feeling like you're you're not happy with your work, which is me all the time. So I'm always trying different stuff because I I get bored of my art and I don't like it anymore, and so I want to try something else. Um, okay, so Joker King, all of Scott's art supplies are listed. Oh, look at this. Steph Nerd put it in. You can find all of his art supplies there. All the colors, the brushes, everything is all listed there. My suggestion is we put in places where we know we can find the supplies. If you are not in the United States, go and find what the colors are and find something in your country that you can can get there. Um, and Jasmine would like to know if you've decided on a name for the October Octopus. I, I, I like Octavia, um, though I did like Autumn. It was a nice name. Aut Autumn. Oh, Autumn. I'm sorry. You didn't enunciate. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you correctly. Um, yeah, Scott does not like fountain pens. Oh, you guys, I should have brought it. Oh, no, I have it. Let me show them really quick. So yesterday I had this wild hair. And I was going to try the stone paper book. And I got my fountain pens out and my other pens out. And I tried, I did a little pen swatch in the, in the stone paper book. And I will just tell you, if you have stone paper, can I show them real quick? Yeah. If you get the stone paper book, where is it? I'm like, can you see it on the screen? Okay. So no, you can't. Uh, gotta go that way. Okay. So I swatched the pens. Ballpoint pen works great. Fountain pens. No good. You can even see over here that the fountain pens completely um, just went. Gel inks are okay and pencils are okay. They still smudge a little bit, but ballpoint in the stone paper, if you're doing a regular journal, is the best. So that's my two cents on the stone paper. And you guys get to hear it, because, but I'm not doing a video on it. So there you go. I'm not. I mean, you don't need a video on this. All right, one last blow dryer. So. about journaling supplies. The best notebooks I have found that take fountain pen ink really, really well um, are the Archer and Olive um, notebooks. They're, um, they're just, they're phenomenal. I love them. Um, do you ever find yourself with multiple dirty paint water cups? Jasmine would like to know. Um, no, because I only have just the one dirty paint and then I just empty it out. And Actually, it kind of looks like chocolate milk today. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Rayan says, I don't keep my finished work. Sometimes I ruin it at the end. Sometimes I tear it. Is it normal? Um, it, it's not normal in the fact that like everybody does it, but there's, if you don't like your work and you want to tear it up and it makes you feel good to tear it up, do it. But I, I say, please try to keep some of your, your work so that way you could look back and see your improvements. Mm -hmm. Ray says, holy heck, the piece looks so good. I was just gone for an hour. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Anima says, some extra fine Japanese fountain pens seem to work well on lots of kinds of paper. That is good to know. I will check that out. What shape is the yellow paper clip supposed to be? It's a light bulb. Yes, and who did you steal that from? I didn't steal it. Mm -hmm. I bought it on my own. You're so full of crap. You stole it from me. Oh, you wish. You wish you had that kind of great taste. We all know who's the office supply person. We know. Um, 
Agatha says, oh, that's great. Thank you for the reply. I was thinking of a drawing collaboration. Um, what is your favorite painting Scott has made? Also, Donna is my mom's name too. Aw, Jasmine. Um, you want to show that when you get a minute? Yeah, I'm done here. Are you wearing your bracelets all the time or is it part of your YouTube personality? No, this is an all the time thing. Never take them off. This is the painting that Donna likes. Mm -hmm, that's my favorite one. And I think we are done. Let's tear her out. Space series. How about 30 days of painting food from around the world? Oh boy. Scott is not a foodie. What is the big chunk of brown on the left corner of the palette? That is gold ochre. This is kind of funny. It was dried up in the tube. You can actually see this was the top of the tube and I had to cut it out. It's so gross. It's so gross. How do you make the perfect base shape? No such thing. Yeah. No such thing as perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, I think I saved her. I think now I think she's, she's a great. she's an eight. She started off as a four. I want to my first children's illustrated book soon. Do you have any advice on making it interesting for children? Um, advice on making it interesting for children. Mm -hmm. um, it has to be very colorful with simple shapes. Well, it depends on the eight, but I mean, it's a children's book, but I mean, I would one hundred. Yeah, I would 100% make sure that you um, You tell us it's it's more about the story, mm -hmm. like the stuff that um, you know Dr. Seuss or anybody else did was it was about a good story. So don't worry about the rest of it. Just come up with a good story. The the, the just the most simplest stories that maybe you haven't heard before or that's you know told from a different perspective. That's more important than because the other stuff can always be changed with a word or two here or there. But find that story. Find that thing that. Mm -hmm your unique voice. And don't be afraid of using words that you might think might be bigger for kids because that's how they learn. Yeah. And it's always good because if someone's reading to them, which most likely they will be, they can explain the word to them and that's how they learn. Do you prefer train rides or plane rides? I think train rides. I don't get to do it very often. Nope. Should we first learn to draw before everything else, but that doesn't mean we have to only draw before everything else. Is it okay to try to use an experiment with them at the same time? Yeah, that's totally okay. Press Space has lots of questions today and they're all good ones. Um, Lego Lightbulb, any tips on drawing fur? Um, no, every fur is different. You you have to kind of just play around till, till you find it. We have not seen the latest episode of Rings of... That would have came out today oh, or last night or something. Not today, yeah. Yeah. Um, All right, Donna's going to go make us some scones. I am? Yeah, today's scone day, remember? Oh, God. Donna's a little sleepy. Yeah. Oh, we, there you go. we love you all, and we will see you on Monday. Monday. Hopefully with a new uh, Inktober, or uh, October. October. Yes. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Thanks for being here, everybody. Go give our friends some love. Oh, I have to hit this, don't I? Yep. Okay, thanks, guys.